the upcoming release of Lightfall, our mods are about to be changed forever. With that knowledge, a lot of our current builds in the game aren't going to perform the way they are right now. So I wanted to start a series leading up to Lightfall where I make a build with every single class and subclass that we currently have in the game. These builds are not going to take advantage of any combat style mods and heavily focus on fragments, exotics, and aspects. Normally, if you use these builds with mods equipped, it is just the cherry on top. And of course, before you start doing anything in Lightfall, you can obviously take a look at the new mod system and try to insert what you think might work. This is just supposed to be a clean slate and give you all an idea of what is some of the strongest stuff in the game right now for each of the classes. If anything changes in the future, I will make an updated video talking about what I think could be better. And like I said, if you're interested in every single class and subclass, be sure to check out the channel and give the series a watch. But hey, if you're in the market for a brand new PC, look no further than my custom line of Apex Gaming PCs. These are price optimized to run Destiny 2 and can be completely customized the way you want it. All the links you need are in the description of this video. Remember, you can save up to $250 on your next purchase when you use code REST. All right, in this one, I want to go over the Arc Hunter, which is arguably the strongest hunter class in the game. This build is going to let you one punch pretty much every single thing in the entire game, alongside being very strong for ad clear. What's really good about this build is specifically with this series is that it doesn't really require much mods and the mods you insert just kind of are the cherry on top. It will improve other small things with the build. Between survivability, damage, and just fun factor, I overall would say that this is the best and easiest hunter build to play in the entire game. All right, so jump right into it. We need to start off with our sub class and let's go over our aspects flow state and lethal current so flow state says defeating a jolted target makes you amplify when you're amplified your dodge recharges more quickly you are more resilient while dodging and your reload speed is greatly increased now flow state is definitely not the main appeal to this build but becoming amplified is very nice because you will get that increased movement speed and you also will become more resilient while you're dodging the dodge cooldown doesn't matter because you're going to have infinite dodges in the first place and i guess the reload is kind of nice but you never really have to even use a gun with this build if you don't want to but now we have lethal current so after dodging your next melee attack has increased lunge range jolts the target and creates a damaging aftershock damaging any jolt the target with melee attacks also blind them so this is going to play way more into the build because now when you dodge your melee is going to have that increased lunge range it will also jolt enemies which paired with flow state again will make you amplify which is nice and you'll have that damaging aftershock which does a very hefty amount of damage and if you do manage to jolt the target you can also blind them if you melee them which is you know pretty good for survivability so both of these combined together it's all about dodging and meleeing as much as possible you're going to get movement speed you're going to bunch of damage increases at clear everything like that so the main melee we need to take is combination blow now if you don't know the way this works it says a quick strike that temporarily increases your melee damage when defeating a target stacking three times defeating targets with this ability also fully refills your class ability energy and restores a small amount of health so that is going to be very good paired with gamblers dodge because when you dodge near a target it will completely refill your melee ability so the way this build works is you basically get a power melee kill you get your dodge back you use gamblers dodge to get your power melee back and then you get another melee kill and you just keep repeating until you have combination times three and you do a bunch of melee damage and also if you remember with the aspects every time you dodge you're also getting that jolt you're getting that damage and aftershock and that increased lunge range on top of always becoming amplified and getting that resilience while you dodge as well so you can be in the fight a lot more often now combination blow also refill a small amount of health when you get a melee kill which is really good but we're also going to pair that with our exotic assassin's cow this has the exotic perk vanishing execution power melee final blows grant invisibility and restore a portion of health and shields finishers and final blows against more powerful targets increase the duration of invisibility and the amount of health and shields restored so this is going to pair with combination blow extremely well every single time you get a melee kill you will always go invisible and you will always heal pretty much to max all the time this is extremely strong for the survivability of this build because when you go invisible you can't get shot and you're always going to be at max health 24 seven you already have enough damage coming from the subclass alone so adding this for that extra little survivability is definitely the way to go now if you want to go a more damage route you can opt in to take liar's handshake this will also heal you on your next power melee attack but i honestly would always just recommend running assassin's cow because the survivability is just a whole lot nicer in my opinion because you already do enough damage but let's talk about the rest of the subclass gathering storm is for sure the way to go this is one of the best just passive damage supers in the entire game you start a boss fight just throw this on the enemy and you are going to be doing a lot of extra damage now for fragments spark of resistance so while you're surrounded by combatants you are more resistant to incoming damage since this is a melee build this is pretty much going to be proc all the time you're just going to take reduced damage which is very very good now i'm also 
also running Spark of Shock, so my art grenades will jolt targets. Now, this is actually going to be extremely good paired with the Flash Ray grenade because when Lightfall launches, Blind will actually stun Unstoppable Champions, and applying Jolt to an enemy will stun Overload Champions. So with your Flash Rain Grenade alone, since you don't use your grenade a whole lot with this build, this is just going to be a very good utility-based grenade. Blind the enemy is also really good if you do need to get in for a melee kill. Now, I'll also take Spark of Ion, so when I defeat a Jolt Target, I create an Onic Trace. This will just help me get that grenade energy back a little bit more if I am throwing the grenade a lot, just to blind some enemies. And then Spark of Amplitude, so rapidly defeating targets while your Amplified creates an Orb of Power. Since you're going to be Amplified all the time, you're always going to be making Orbs, which is very, very good, because that will play into some of our mods later now i'd highly recommend 100 resilience with this build just so you can survive more often since it's melee focused in the first place and you don't need mobility or strength because you're already getting infinite amounts of those with your subclass and the way everything interacts with each other so i would definitely recommend trying to get 100 discipline or even 100 recovery if you can get all three of those 100 that is definitely the way to go but my armor on my 100 is for sure not the best but that is 100% what I would recommend going for. Now, weapons for this build, you can honestly run whatever you want to. I like to play heavily into the melee, though, so I would highly recommend running a one-two punch shotgun because this will amplify your combination blow damage. Since it's stacking up on its own, this will just make it do a little bit more. One-two punch did get nerfed, but it is still extra damage. So there's no reason to not use it. I do also like to run tractor cannon just so I can apply a 30% debuff if I am going to fight a major enemy. You can just shoot this on any bigger enemy and then swap to your one-two punch shotgun with combination blow times three, and you pretty much insta-kill it. Now for primary, you can run double special, you can run a primary weapon. Remember in Lightfall, these perks are actually going to be uh unlockable perks or these mods are going to be unlockable perks now so say if you want to run a anti-barrier pulse rifle that will just be permanent perk you unlock so you can equip on a pulse rifle and now your flash screen grenade will do your overload and unstoppable so this just means you have access to all three champions pretty much all the time and you can just kind of run whatever if you want to run a blinding grenade launcher you can also do that as well now mods for this build since we know these all are staying in the comments on mods are what is getting swapped up i would highly recommend running double dynamo now you could opt into running a hands-on so when you get a melee kill you'll get some bonus super energy but i honestly prefer just running dynamo since you're going to be melee dodging melee dodging all the time dynamo is going to give you a bunch of super energy back but either one of those will work extremely well and you have to remember again the super you're running also is relatively good so it is nice to have this up pretty much all the time now i'm also running double impact induction so when i cause damage with my melee attack it will reduce my grenade cooldown again this will just be good to get my utility grenade back to blind everything stun champions overall just very good to slot that in there now always remember to take your resilience mods when life ball launches things like energy diffusion substrate if they are an artifact will again be unlockable perks so it is going to be very beneficial to take the ones that are permanently always here now i do have a shotgun holster slotted in here so it can gradually reload my shotguns over time i found verdict does have auto loading on it but this will actually work with tractor cannon so you can debuff enemy swap back to your found verdict and then it will just reload in the background and you never have to worry about actually reloading the thing which is pretty cool now i'm also taking an innervation so whenever i pick up an orbit power it will give me some grenade cooldown this is going to be nice again to get that utility grenade back as much as possible since you're going to be making orbs of spark of amplitude all the time then finally i'm running double bomber so i'll reduce my grenade cooldown when i use my class ability so when i use my class ability now which again is all the time i will get some extra super energy and some grenade energy everything else is also playing in to get my grenade back since i will always have infinite melees and dodges this just means now i will also have infinite grenades as well which is really really strong pairing that with the damage increases the combination blow and all the jolting effects of lethal current and those damaging aftershocks plus just even more resistance with things like flow state and spark of resistance you are very tanky you do a lot of damage and throw the assassin's cowl on there and you go invisible and get that extra health generation but that is honestly pretty much the build all you do is just dodge and punch the entire time you can pretty much kill everything on the battlefield and again this is without any combat style mods once lightfall launches and we can see all the brand new stuff i imagine it's going to amplify this build even more and as of right now if you are a hunter this is definitely the build i would recommend you all running and if you want to try it out i will have a dim link to it in the description below and if y'all enjoy and learn anything new consider subscribing drop a like and turn those notifications on also if you like joining my discord or following any of my socials i'll have me linked in the description as well but just know watching this video is way more than enough and that every single bit of support from you all is truly appreciated thank you all so much for watching this one and have a great day peace